Hello and welcome back to some Mine Ward. I have been hard at work going through the previous dungeon, running it over and over again until I got to the beautiful level 18 and 40%. Now, I do have some new things to mess with in my hotbar, which I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Number one, I've got this, which is a uh, Omen Warp. You, you right-click it, you travel fast, and you have a 100% dodge chance for 1.5 seconds. It's pretty freaking sick, I like it. And now, I've got one that restores 25 health with a cooldown of 5 seconds. Now, there is something in here I want to get, and that would be, I believe, it was this right here? It was this. Left-click, Remedy, shoots an orb of healing that heals players in a 3-block radius from where it lands for 50 health, costs 8 mana, and has a 0.8 second cooldown. That sounds freaking awesome. The more heals I have, the more ability I'm going to have to run this dungeon. Because the second I was able to get access to this, I was able to run the previous dungeon so much faster. I got it like under a minute half the time. I need to try and beat this dungeon anyways. It is a level 15 dungeon. That should not be there. Being able to heal is going to make this dungeon a lot easier though. Actually, wait, hold on. Am I just whooping his ass? You cannot kill- they're not hitting me up in the air anymore. I don't know why. I also- there wasn't as many. Oh, I see why now. Don't hit me into the lava. Whatever you do, do not hit me into the lava. Okay, heal. See, like, uh, I was told that melee is just very underpowered compared to ranged and more so magic. I feel like I have to agree, you know, it, it feels like it is, but here's the thing. I think with healing and the fact that this takes no mana, I can actually counteract that. Now, this is where I get the mana squid, or the uh, mana ink that I need, which I'm going to keep these in my hotbar so I can monitor how much I get. Oh my god, you have so much HP! Don't be hungry, don't be hungry, don't be hungry. Okay. Okay, all I got to do is dodge him a bit, summon my guy, and just keep healing. That hurt. You'll probably give a frozen diamond, right, bro? Just give me that, that sick, nasty frozen diamond. Reynard's Hunt Bow. Okay. Attack damage of 30, critical hit chance 15%, range damage plus 80%. Apex of Ymir on hit slows down enemies in a one block radius by 75% of hit. The effects last for two seconds and has a five second cooldown. All right, I think this is it, final boss. So uh, let's get the full HP and uh, let's send it. Hello, big guy. You uh, actually, you're not that tough. Except when you're dealing a lot of damage. Okay, I just gotta think it smartly, guys. Here's what I do, right? Do that, do that, bam, and then I get in here, smack this guy. Summon him real fast, because more damage is good. Always good. Ah, this immunity doesn't really do much! Just die! Please! Okay, nope, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, well, that, that that's fine, that's fine. We got some of the guys dead. Let's go! This time, I'm gonna make it painful for myself. I'm gonna take the left path. Actually, isn't the left path just parkour and then the fight? It is, isn't it? Yeah, then why would I do that? I wonder why they don't hit me up in the air anymore. Maybe they weren't supposed to. Yet they did. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what? That guy did. Maybe it was a rare chance that they hit you up in the air and they were doing it too consistently. Why? Ah, okay. Oh, why are there more? No, I did what it said. I'm feeling if I was trying to speed run this, the left path would be the best. But because I'm trying to resource farm too, can you like? Okay. Why is this the hardest thing in the world? All right, final fight. Um, do I go and fight this guy? I think I do because I want the uh, the diamond that he has. Once I get him standing still. It's great, I can just smack him around and do a lot of damage. Did he heal? If I just kind of power through it and just occasionally heal, I might be able to live longer. Oh god, nope. I mean, it was working, but then it wasn't. So, uh, let's heal up a little bit, and I'll go back in. I got him mostly, or close to half, and just keep on smacking until he's dead. Let's go! I just don't give this guy time to think. Uh-oh, too late. Die, just die, just die. I want you to just die. Dude, look at those crits. Oh my god, that's so much damage. 
I also want to run the other dungeon a bit. I don't know if it has anything special that I can get from there other than, like, the talisman things. Um, I want to try and get some of those, so I'm going to run in a few times, fight the bosses, try and fight every boss. Can you, like, stop being so annoying? Like, for real, though? Oh, not as good as my first assault last time. It's because I can't get the freaking heal to proc. I, I think I'm having bad ping issues. I sure am, because I'm not even over there anymore, and I'm dying. Hey, buddy, I really need you to die. Or else I'm gonna die because my ping is really freaking bad right now. I need you to die. Please. Oh, thank God. Still a pretty good time considering I have literally a thousand ping. I'm not going into another run until my internet figures it the fuck out. I guess while I wait a little bit for my ping to uh, stabilize, I'm gonna go double check the other area and see if there was anything else that I missed that we could earn. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There is a thing. Hey, bud. How are my things? So we got two tier one fossil skulls and a tier one debris skull. Let's do these first. Dwarven steel used in forging. Not sure in what yet, but that's cool. Behemoth monolith. Oh, wait a minute. That's for uh, for this guy, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I see. You buy tomes from this guy using these ingredients, like the uh, the hydro tome, the soul wraith tome, the behemoth tomes, zergon tomes. That's the guy I haven't fought yet. Uh, and then when, when you do, you get different stuff. Like this one, you get plus 10 nourishment. So this is definitely worth grinding. And I like the fact that it goes up in levels so that you always have a reason to come back to it. I definitely want to run this a few times. But my ping, actually, 151 is not too bad. Let's try this out and see how it feels. So I don't really know where the fifth boss is yet. I wonder if it's somewhere on their wiki. I'm going to check. I, I did find it on the wiki, and I think I've been a complete idiot this entire time, guys. It is behind the waterfall. So first things first, I'm going to go back and fight the behemoth that I totally skipped by accident. And uh, just going to completely kick his ass. Like, he's not even a threat. Bunk! I don't entirely know what waterfall it means. Oh, it's that one. It's literally right there. That's where the, the, the fifth boss is. The one that I could never find. Are you gonna be scary? Oh my god, yes you are. Why are you why are you like this? Sargon deity. Oh, killing them is is damaging him. I, I did not pay attention to that at all. Okay, so this is actually super easy. Man, remember when this guy was a problem? Or kind of a problem? I guess he never really was a big problem. It was like a small problem. The bombs are a problem. Here we go. This should be, yeah, the last guy, right? Good old Hydra fight. Ah, I need you to die. I know your fire is dangerous. That is why I don't want you to breathe fire. And now for the sixth boss, the final boss that really only requires I kill three of the bosses, but I'm an overachiever and went for all five. Being able to heal is going to make it a lot easier, though. Because normally I'd have to just run around and wait for my health to come back slowly, which just takes a lot of time. Oh my god. Three runs, uh, three out of ten runs until Ancient Mastery level two. Nice. And I got an unidentified fossil. Nice, dude. I'm pretty sure I do have my quest completed, so I should probably do that instead of running this over and over again. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, Floor Builder, you actually did it. Wow. Then I must award you with a Knight Sigil Honor. Good luck. Am I supposed to talk, talk, talk to you already? I'm pretty sure I gotta go to the tavern. Can I finally get a drink, guys? Oh my god, wait a minute, hold on. This might be my, my ping went up again. Can I get a drink now? <sighs> hey, buddy. Then it is here, but... I guess I'll do this. Okay. I cannot beat him, he's inside my head. Then I, the Great Floor Builder, will kill him! Yeah. So this is the tomb. Recommended level 30! Wait, so am I supposed to just run that dungeon until I'm level 30? There's guys down there I can fight. Do you give a lot of XP? 80. Whoa, you hit for a lot. Whoa, my bad. I was not respecting your game. Get me the fuck out of here. All right, well, I'm no coward. We run it again. So this wants me to do this until I'm level 30. Th that can't be right. There's got to be another area to level up, right? Hey, it's Jess. Well, I was going to say, watch it be a mimic. Which, by the way, I actually cut that out of the, uh, one of the videos when I first did this dungeon. I guess the, the last video, but yeah, there was a freaking Mimic. I was like, oh, I thought that was a, a, a cool, unique uh, feature of this area, but no, it was just a Mimic. But no, it was the reverse. I just got unlucky and got a Mimic in my first one. Hey, level 19, which means I get this new bow now. 
which I actually want to try out because this sounds freaking sick. I'll probably do very little range damage, but it's kind of nice having a bow at least. I was going to get rid of it, but the new bow kind of changes my uh, my thoughts on that. Wait, why Why do you look different? Why, why you look different? Different? You look... Precursor spirit guard. That's 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 different, right? Oh, an unidentified. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I did, got, ran into this guy before and I just didn't notice. He gives something different, doesn't he? Let's go again. My sword damage is just so much better, but my range is more reliable for getting, you know, guaranteed hits without dying. That being said, I'm of course gonna stubbornly ram my head into the wall with melee damage because that's what I want to do. Here we go again. Is it going to be the, the, the one guy, or is it going to be the other guy? How do we get the potatoes? Well, so, there's not much reason in running this at this point, because I've already got... I mean, I guess I could do, you know, more of these and do multiple of them and, and keep doing that. Maybe it would be worth it. Yeah, let me leave for a minute. I know it's going to ruin my streak and everything, but I want to go ahead and do fossil inspection. And I want to do that, and I want to do... Ooh, it's tier two as well. Uh, and I'm gonna do that. Hello? Ah! You came out the gate swinging, my guy! What the hell? Wow. I remember when you used to be a challenge. I think out of all the bosses, the Soul Wraith is the biggest punk. That's a lot of fire. Owie. Aha! I knew there was an inj- Ah, shit, it's a mimic. Well, at least you guys get to see it now. Look, a mimic. I wasn't lying. There's, there's mimics. They're cool and stuff, aren't they? I get this guy. Well, see, this is my problem. This is why I'm probably not gonna do this. I will probably run this dungeon in my free time, though, because I uh, need to level up a lot, and I don't think you guys want to watch me run the same dungeons until I'm level 30. Come join the server. All the information down in the description below. Mine Ward is an awesome Minecraft RPG server. Still in beta, by the way. Ver version 0.8 beta. So come check it out. All the information down below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.